Hi everyone, today I will show you how you can make simple stickers in Canva and sell them on Redbubble. Let's go to the Canva homepage and from here you click on templates. When you click on templates, you'll be uh, able to search for templates uh, from this page. So type in stickers and from here you will be presented with a lot of sticker templates. And uh, if you look at your left hand side, you'll be able to see a lot of filters. Uh, you can filter according to category, format, style, etc. So whichever you're comfortable with or whichever you are looking to make, you can uh, search accordingly and uh, start from there. Okay. From here, I'm just going to make a choice and uh, we can start making our simple sticker. At the end of this video, I will be sharing with you a lot more stickers that I have made using the method I have uh, explained over here. So stay tuned till the end. Once you have made your choice, you can click on it and then you will be taken to this page where you can customize the template. Click on the customize this template button and you will be presented with your new workspace. Okay, from here you will be able to make all the changes necessary to make this design your own. I'm going to change uh, the color of the background to see whether there are any transparency uh, within the sticker space. Uh, this is a solid sticker so I can change the color back to white and from here I'm going to just redesign what I'm going to do is I am going to search for some motivational quotes or one-liners online and from there I will be adding them to the stickers okay so these are some of the motivational quotes I found online and uh, from here I will be just uh, uh, using some of these to make my stickers these are all general um, general stuff and uh, it's very very simple just uh, click on the text box and from here you can just change the font or just change the the message itself is fine so this is now yours so uh, from here you can just uh, duplicate and make a few more you can make either um, the best bet uh, is to make about four or five in a sticker pack if you want to make this as a single sticker that is also possible okay I will show you the dimensions later so you can see how you need to um, uh, which size or dimensions you need to use uh, when you are uploading to Redbubble okay so I want to make a sticker pack not a single sticker so I will be actually doing a few more of these okay i'm just making this very very simple all the ma all the designs are the same however the messages are different so in, in a sticker pack when you uh, when you uh, buy the sticker pack you will actually be able to get uh, more than one motivational code and uh, of the sticker choice you have made so i'm going to make about four or five of this and from there after that i'm going to open a new page and before i open a new page i want to show you the dimensions that you need to make uh, so that you can upload onto Redbubble. So these are the dimensions. So uh, extra large is 2800 by 2800 pixels. So I suggest you go for that so that when you upload your image onto Redbubble, you will be able to uh, provide the option of the extra large sticker for your audience or your, for your customer. So how exactly do I design for stickers for Redbubble? So Redbubble has this help section where you can go and find out more about this. I'm just showing you over here. Basically, it's uh, uh, saying uh, how important it is for you to have a high resolution image and what kind of transparency uh, Redbubble uses to print your designs and send it over to your customers and uh, the other other things, how you can design your sticker packs and so on and so forth. This is a very good read. So if uh, you want, I can leave the link in the description box below. So you can click on it and read for yourself. Similarly, if you're designing anything anything else uh, for Redbubble what you can do is you go to the dimension pay dimensions of that particular design and then click on the help section and you'll be able to find a lot more information regarding that particular template that you need to create so this is uh, basically for sticker packs if you look at this section in particular you can see that uh, it is very important uh, there are instances where you may have designed something intricate and uh, it has a few stray points here and there so 
so here in the in this read red bubble details on how you can actually eliminate uh, the stray points and make sure that your design is uh, correct and cohesive so that uh, your customer will get a very uh, neat and proper sticker when they order them from red bubble there are a lot of information over here so you uh, it will do you good if you actually read through them also there is a blog section and uh, you will be able to find many more helpful articles from here in order for you to make sure that you are designing your templates or designs properly Another very important thing I want to bring to your attention is that this 2800 by 2800 pixel is for a single sticker design. However, if you are actually uh, doing a uh, four sticker sticker pack or a five sticker sticker pack so what you need to do is you have to make sure when you're doing it in canva you actually can use the same uh, pixel 2800 pixels by 2800 pixels however after you have designed and uh, you're going to download it you make sure you download it in either twice the size or thrice the size this will make sure that your sticker is the correct size for the excel sticker to be printed from redbubble what I have done here so far is to actually find a plus element so that I can divide my grid uh, into four sections so that I can place my stickers uh, evenly throughout. So you can use either your plus uh, element or you can actually make use of the grid lines that are available. This is uh, much better because I can see it very clearly where I need to place my designs. So I'm just going to copy and paste from my other workspace over to this workspace this is a custom template I am uh, actually using for uh, for my red bubble sticker pack it's a 2800 pixels by 2800 pixels so uh, this I'm going to just uh, copy from this workspace over to the other workspace and you can just drag it and then uh, Canva has this magic resize option where this image will actually be enlarged without any quality loss so I am actually uh, going to import the rest of the stickers over here and after that I will actually get rid of that plus button you can also reduce the transparency if you plan on doing more than one sticker pack at the same time so once you have uh, finished uploading this you can just uh, you know like a reuse the same um, same workspace uh, to create your other sticker packs as well so I'm going to just to get rid of this uh, plus sign okay I'm done I just resize this a little bit okay now I'm done I'm going to get rid of this I'm pretty sure I have a space here for another sticker so I'm just going to duplicate this okay I'm just going to select the entire thing and duplicate and then put it over here okay I just need to be careful that uh, they won't be bundled together when I actually upload it over Okay, let me just play around with this positioning a little bit and see how I can manage. Okay, I think if I can bring these two a bit down and uh, the ones above a little further up, I should be on the safe side. So I'm just going to do just that. Okay, this looks uh, quite evenly spaced out and there is a lot of space in between also. So I think I should be good to go so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to just uh, save this I'm going to go to the share button click on share and then download a transparent image okay click on download click on transparent background and then click on download so since this is a single page you will get this as a PNG file if you're doing multiple pages you will get this as a zip file so you'll have to unzip it and then take out the PNG file separately okay I think I forgot to change the message in one of the last sticker so I'm just going to cancel this and I'm going to just change this matter I'll just change it to something else okay maybe accept yourself or something like that okay trust yourself okay so now you see there are like five different messages in the sticker pack so I'm going to just repeat the step I'm going to download transparent background and then click download if you want to select your file name you can do so as well and once everything is set you can upload it directly onto Redbubble
Now what I will do is I will open my Redbubble store and I'm going to go to the portfolio section where I can manage my uploads. This is a previous uh, design and I'm just going to copy and uh, copy the style of this. So I'm going to just replace the image. Okay, and I'm going to disable all the other options from here like the t-shirts, mugs, etc. We don't need any of those because the design is not made for any of these. So we are just going to enable the sticker pack and sticker pack has uh, like four sections, I mean uh, four different templates, uh, transparent, glossy, matte and they have magnets also I think. Now I'm just going to change the title of this uh, section and after that I'm going to give it a few tags so that when people search for those tags uh, I will be referred by Redbubble as a choice. So I'm just going to put it in my collections and then declare. Okay, I'm going to choose sticker over here because everything else is disabled and I'm just going to click on that and then now I'm going to write in the title the tags I'm just going to maybe I can just copy all these words I have in my motivational stickers like be yourself rise above and I can use tags like motivational quotes inspirational quotes rise above and blah 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 so there are a lot of tags you can use I think Redbubble has a maximum but I normally use about 25 or so and uh, after which I will uh, write a description description does not make much of a difference in Redbubble however it it will be better if you write your description because uh, your designs or your page where your design is actually a URL and it can be searched in Google and so on so it is best that you do a good job at writing your title as well as a proper description for what your product is all about so that it will be easy for um, for robots to track as well as people to find so it is a win-win situation for all of us and uh, let's not be lazy and we just want to you know we want more eyeballs on our design so we are going to fill in everything I'm going to write in a good title I'm going to put in a lot of tags and then write a good description so once everything is set over here I'm going to click, click on publish and uh, after that my work will be visible on Redbubble website within 15 minutes okay just finishing up I'm done. I'm just going to scroll all the way down. I'm going to save my work. Okay, so it will take some time to upload and after that is done, you will be able to see your uh, design prototypes or design samples over here. Just scroll down and uh, you will be able to see your magnets, your sticker, glossy sticker and transparent sticker. Okay, you can see that they actually attach to one another which is uh, precisely what I was trying to avoid earlier. Uh, actually, it is quite easy. We can fix this. I'm just going to go to view and see how it affects my design on if, an, if, if a person is actually purchasing this, how they are going to get it. So I'm just going to click on this image transparent sticker and it will bring it will show me an example okay this one from afar it doesn't look as if it is together but when I zoom in closer I can see that the lines are together okay I don't want that so I'm just going to go to the original file and just going to re um, rearrange this maybe I'm just going to make it a bit smaller and just bring it a little up also same for the one below okay just make it a little bit smaller okay just making sure they're almost the same size right okay and I'm going to move it in the middle 
now i'm going to make the same changes to the items below okay resize it a little bit and after that just move around so that they won't be touching each other okay i'm happy with this result i'm just going to download it like i did before and after which i'm going to re-upload the same design onto redbubble okay so it is very easy to replace if you actually find that something is uh, missing or something you have done is wrong and or if you find some stray points here and there what you can do is before it, it is already published however it will take time for it to be visible to the audience in the red bubble so what you can do is you can just uh, run through it and if you need something changed you can just go and edit and then from here you just uh, replace the image and you will be good to go okay click on replace image once you have re-uploaded and made the edit you can just go down and see your design one more time okay now they are looking separate okay this looks good i'm just going to click on one of those and i'm going to look at the transparent sticker okay click on it and then when it comes up i can okay just wait for it to load okay i can see there are no lines touching each other they are separate okay so this is uh, according to me it is good enough so i'm just going to look at maybe another example maybe the magnets to see how nice they are okay they are also separate so there is not much of an issue there so always make sure that your designs are spaced evenly and after you have uploaded your work you have to make sure that you check it uh, what we are trying to do is we are going we are trying to sell our stuff and then make money if our work is mediocre or if our work is not well presented we will not make any sale so it is very important that after we upload we check that our work is in order so that uh, when a customer orders from redbubble our product they will not have have any issues and there will not be any returns or ask for refunds and so on so uh, that is how you actually make a simple sticker and then upload it onto redbubble.com and make some money what you need to do is uh, you have to make sure that you promote yourself as well although redbubble actually does a lot of work for you they will promote your work uh, however the competition in redbubble is very real and uh, you will have to do some part on your own as well so just like uh, treating any other business you have to treat this as a serious business so that you will be able to make money out of it when you marry canva and redbubble together or any other print on demand website where you can sell stickers you will actually see that it is very easy for you to come up with designs that are spectacular simple minimal etc so it is very important uh, that uh, you don't let money lie on the table you just have to go for it and uh, find a way to make your mark in this uh, in this industry as you can see you can simply rearrange a few things and uh, you can change the color of here and there and you will be able to come up with a different designs i have made a few designs and i have uploaded onto my redbubble store I'll, i will leave a link in the description box below so that if you want you can buy them i will also save them as templates so that you can use them if you so require i thank you so much for staying with me for so long and uh, hope you had fun and learned something new in this tutorial thank you if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.